Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with um, the Mixed Media Frenzy layout that was um, that came out on and was due on December 11th. So that was the t around the time that I took my break um, before Christmas and I've, as you know, I've just recently started back up and I'm going to do a fairly literal translation of this one. This is um, all uh, Cocoa Vanilla Daydream. M most everything you see on here, I think there's a piece of flair there in this little heart and some of the strips aren't from that collection. But uh, I'm gonna use it. Uh, I love this background paper and I'm gonna work on it first and then we're going to build the photo cluster and the photo cluster is going to be based on this kind of piece of packaging and i've put a doily behind it and then i'm going to do some strips and we'll we'll hide that in a minute the mixed media isn't going to be really terrific i do need to kind of see where this is going to be so kind of around in this area is where i need to do my mixed media. So I'm using a Distress Oxide Stormy Sky and Ice Spruce because these both kind of go with the colors in that collection. And I'm going to apply it. I'm taking a piece of this very same packaging um, cardboard. It has kind of a, um, a glossy finish. And so it picks up color and then transfers it fairly easily and it's about the best way I know of to get the kind of effect that you see except it really sometimes is hard to get the um, let me kind of do that Kind of do some bits like that. I'm just going to do, this doesn't, isn't carrying a whole lot of ink. I need a re-inker. But I'm going to take this and kind of just burnish that down. Now let's see if my iced spruce is like that. I'm gonna do this. Okay, I like what that's doing. Let me kind of put some down here. that way okay so that really does take a lot of that kind of pinkishness away and I said I was gonna get it wet but I do want a little water on it to get a little more um, blending of the colors and blending down into the paper. And that kind of wiped most of that water off. Um, my next thing I'm going to do is kind of add some shadows. I've got um, this is gathered twigs, and I have a little bit on here, and I'm not going to um, put any more. I'm, I'm really just blending with this, and it, you can see how it's kind of picking up some of what's on the paper and adding in some of what's actually on the, on there. Okay. 
Okay. Well, that's done. <laughs> it has uh, come off. I'm going to kind of put it aside. And now I'm going to take this and add in some of these spots up at the top. And I want to use the gathered twigs for that. I'm picking up some of these kind of stripy bits there. Um, I'm not literally getting them in exactly the same places that the these bits are on the original. but I'm, it's certainly kind of inspired by that. Let me get this up in here. And then I'm just gonna use some, um, let me, Okay, I've got bits of that all over. Now I'm going to take some Heidi Swap Color Shine in tinsel, and it's really going to come out kind of a um, a, uh, a shiny gray. But this is what I'm going to do the. the splatters with. And I'm going to let those dry and we'll put this aside. It doesn't have to dry long. And now I'm going to kind of build this. I've got some some half inch strips and some that have been cut um, at oddball lengths. Um, and I'm not quite sure. Uh, I just kind of want these on there okay um, that can kind of go there I guess There. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the this bit right here, and I'm going to line it up with the bottom. And then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to have to fill these bits in. Let's see if that works. There we go. Okay, now 
I'm going to take the this guy. Let me get the photos here. The largest photo. These are photos of um, John's recent uh, journey. Last weekend, um, he was moved from the hospital where I couldn't hadn't seen him for 21 days. And he was moved to the um, nursing rehab center where he's getting building strength. And then they allowed window visits. And then I also can see him up close and personal and kind of kiss him through his mask uh, when he comes to the dialysis center. So uh, this is life these days. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I'm going to do that there and this here and that there. Is that right? Do I want to, I want to maybe line these up kind of like that and then this one off to the side and maybe overlapping. So in any case, let me see if I can find my foam. I had some gray foam. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to do it like this. And then this. And I kind of overlay that. I have it up here. It says I need something right in here. And I've got uh, some, some things I can use, I think. Okay, and... Maybe like that. All right, and I thought I would put this here. And then that kind of leaves this opening for me to start my title, which is gonna be the word this, and it's gonna go I guess like that, All right? So I'm gonna put some adhesive along the bottom there. Okay. So I like that it overlaps the, the photograph. And Let's see, down under here is where I'm gonna have the large cluster of flowers. And I thought I would have those maybe overlapping the photo. So I need that like that, and I need more foam. I'm trying to beat the clock here. It is um, 10 after 8, and at 8.30, I have scheduled a uh, phone call with John at the nursing home. So I want to be finished by then. Okay, there, and then... I'm going to build a cluster here. This says, these are a few of my favorite things. And I've got a list here 
of um, that he was released from the hospital. Let me do, I'm gonna bring this down. Here, I'm going to put this right there. This says it's a sticker uh, from the, the collection sticker sheet. It says you are my sunshine. And I'm gonna do is life down here on the paper, but I want to add this maybe here and then that there and a butterfly. Oh, okay, so we have to kind of Fill this stuff in and make sure we're, I'm going to do it kind of at an angle that way so that I can build that up. Under right there, and let me do a. I'm gonna do the dark blue butterfly, maybe down here where that cut wing can show, and I'll do this one here. like that. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to stamp. On the original, they've stamped um, this and that just in lots of places around. So I'm going to take the iced spruce and I'm going to stamp Precious. And this Precious is from this um, Neat and Tangled uh, stamp set. It's, it's this one right here. And it's a, a cute set. Okay, that looks great. It kind of comes out distressed looking, so not particularly, um, let me kind of see where this is going to go so I'll know where to put it so that it shows. Um, I can put it down here, here, and kind of up there. And the uh, time with him is certainly precious these days. I was there this afternoon. It was 39 degrees outside and kind of windy, and it's on a on the side of the building that the sun does not warm up. <laughs> It was chilly. Let's see if I can kind of do that there. I don't want it to look like I've done just these corners. So I'm going to kind of do some secondary images around and about like that. And... Okay, 
There we go. All right. I'm done with that. I'm going to do this. And then we'll see what's missing. This is life. And let me see if I can get this in here. There we go. And I've got another one that I can maybe do right here so that it's not so obvious that there's that abrupt end of that doily. And I cut this off thinking I might be able to um, use it somewhere, maybe right there for half of it and over here for the other half. It was just a circle that kind of came out of the, the, the other half of the doily. Um, I've got this and I thought I could add it in with the um, upholstery thread that I'm going to use. And I had in mind, I would kind of just stick it right up there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this and I'll go back and reinforce it with some liquid glue if I feel like I need it. And then I thought I might do some over here as well. This um, is wire wrapped in baker's twine and it came in a Mind the Scrap kit and I love it. And I hadn't used it all. And the color works. In fact, it came in the kit that where we got a um, uh, some of the um, I, I think we got the some of the cocoa vanilla uh, daydream pieces. Okay, so let me do this and it should stick well enough under there. Now I'm gonna just make a couple nests with this. I think in the original there may actually be some gauze, but I'm gonna use a nest of tangled thread. And here's what I'm gonna do. Usually use wet glue, but I think I'm going to put some of this under the photo cluster and see if it will work. It gives me a little bit bigger surface to deal with. Um, for different uh, threads, thre uh, strands of the thread to stick to. So, whoops, this came out. Um, this may need some wet glue. And just kind of 
place it like that and sneak it under there. And then I would like some also coming out up here, some of the upholstery thread. So I've got some typed or printed journaling that I'm going to use in conjunction with these photos, but I won't, I haven't cut them out of the, um, this is the sheet I printed and these photos are for different layouts and my things are, are right there. And <laughs> the font I use there is called four, the, the numeral four, for my lover. And that's what this page is for, for my lover. Okay, let me kind of stuff this under here. I've gone back to the wet glue because it was too hard lifting this stuff up for the, let me get my popsicle stick and kind of push that and press it down. Okay, so I think I'm done. Um, let me, let's see, I've got um, this that says forever. Um, and I like putting that kind of right there where it says you are my sunshine. And I'm from Louisiana and that's our state song it was written by our governor, Jimmy Davis from a million years ago. And this says beautiful you. I'm gonna put a little bit of foam behind that and then glue that down. And sweetheart, maybe right there, yeah. Okay, but now let me get these things. Um, cut out and maybe I can get them on there before my alarm goes off. I'm actually not gonna have a chance to do that. Well, yeah, I have seven minutes. Let's, uh, let's do this. Lost my. I'm gonna kind of take that. So released from the hospital, kind of goes right there, and then window visits. here and then up close visits before dialysis and I noticed today on my visit um, he didn't have his mask on I saw him yesterday uh, at the dialysis center and he had a mask on so um, I couldn't see, but looks like his beard is growing back in, and uh, 
I, I never did figure out why it was that they trimmed it off. I assumed it was a hygiene thing, and uh, so I didn't object too much because I do know that it'll grow back. <laughs> and I'm going to do this. Up close it is, it's before dialysis. I'm going to cut that in two. And kind of do that. And that. And so you can see, these are a few of my favorite things, these kinds of visits. Okay, so didn't have enough on that. I'm going to actually put it here. Well, no, I'm going to put it here. There we go. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to bring it up for close-ups. Um, I hope you like it. I'll put it out there as soon as it's loaded up. Thank you for watching, and I'll be catching up with my other Mixed Media Frenzy layouts uh, as soon as I can. Bye.